Ian McKelvey. I'm a bit slow to rise, Mr. Speaker. It takes me a while to get up because I was thinking uh, that. of my age. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, the slow legs, uh, Mr. Speaker, that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, uh, Mr. Speaker, I uh, um, <laughs> yeah, you don't pick on me. I have uh, um, a great deal of pleasure rising Hell to speak abuse. on the environmental, uh, Environment Canterbury Democracy Restoration Amendment Bill. And, and uh, in 2010, the government intervened, or I suppose intervened for want of a better word, in Canterbury Regional Council and put commissioners in place. And I'd have to say the commissioners they put in place, in my view, were extremely competent, but that's beside the point. Uh, I, th I think the, um, the issue that I have with this, uh, and, and I am, uh, I suppose, oh, I have some experience of local government, having spent a bit of time there. Um, I, I think one of the challenges regional councils have is that the agenda they are set as councillors extremely, is extremely complicated. And, and I think one of the problems that Canterbury had as a regional council, and I'm sure many other regional councils in New Zealand have had as well, is that the, that, that agenda, when set, was extremely difficult for those councillors to get a, their head around. And I'll go on to that in a minute, and I'm not criticising the councillors, because I think if you look at the way we elect our councils throughout New Zealand, being elected to a district council is a whole lot different issue than being elected to a, a regional council or, for that matter, a health board, because a, a district council is all about people. And people are, well, for those of us who spend our life managing people, are not that difficult. You know, they, they are things that are easy to manage. But, well, not easy to manage necessarily, but they're things <laughs> that we can get our head around. The, the issues of, of health and, and environment are much more complex. And so I think that one of the challenges our regional councils throughout New Zealand have had in their time uh, of, um, or, or particularly since they started to merge plans, and in fact, in, since 1989, have been very complex. And so I don't blame the people elected to those councils for not necessarily getting their head around what was going on, and, and, and I guess at the end of that, then holding up progress from an environmental perspective and from an economic perspective, I suppose, but for me, the environmental perspective is a lot more important. So uh, I, I ask, Mr Speaker, why, uh, why a local hearing commissioner, for example, who's, a, who's elected to a district council, or used to be elected to a district council, and nowadays are slightly more professional, have to undertake onerous training sit to, to sit on hearing panels. They undertake uh, uh, examination and, and a, quite a difficult threshold for a, for a hearing commissioner or a person to be appointed to a hearing panel on a local council uh, or, or wherever. We then put people on or elect people to the, to the regional council and expect them to come with all the skills. Uh, sure, we do some councillor training and stuff like that, but it's not that easy. And so I think that the, the reason that there were challenges in many of our regional councillors, councils throughout New Zealand, was the fact that it was extremely difficult for the average person to be elected to a council and then have to deal with the ex uh, very complicated uh, environmental uh, and scientific issues that they are faced with. So when you're elected to a um, uh, local district council or to a community board or whatever else, you don't generally face those very complex issues. And, and if you do, they're pretty uh, easily resolved. Whereas in my experience of the regional councillors, particularly around scientific uh, water and environmental stuff. It's very complicated. So I can understand why we've had, uh, uh, or why Canterbury had some challenges with their council. I can understand why we've had challenges in other parts of New Zealand with, uh, I guess, the, pro the progress and uh, uh, the progression of regional plans and things like that, because it is a hugely complicated issue to understand. So, Mr Speaker, while this um, uh, bill uh, was drawn by the member, and I wish her every success with uh, her drawing a bill, as I said earlier uh, in the night uh, uh, or in the day. I don't have any success drawing bills. In fact, I'm pretty sure mine are missing from the ballot. Uh, and, and I'd like to go and test that one day just to see if, in fact, it is in there. But it's not. I'm sure it's not, because it's never drawn. Uh, and so um, this bill really is not relevant any longer, simply because uh, the, the Act has been changed and the progress towards uh, um, I guess restoring democracy has started and it'll be interesting to see how that progress goes. I just want to touch on health boards for a moment because uh, for quite some time now we've had a mixture of appointed members who, who then create the expertise uh, and elected members who create the or give the community division, a vision to the health board. 
Uh, very similar sort of thing, in my view, exists with the Canterbury Regional Council. And I think in history will prove this uh, uh, model to be a very successful model for something as complicated as a regional council. Thank you, Mr Speaker.